there you have it. There is my Bruni from Frozen 2. Do you want to finger paint Bruni with me? Okay, let's go! Hello and welcome back to another finger painting video. Today we're going to be painting Bruni from Frozen 2. These are the colors that you'll be needing. Light blue, blue, white, pink, and black. You'll also be needing some paper, a pencil, and your fingers! Don't forget, share your paintings with me on Instagram. Use the hashtag ArtForKidsTV to be featured as the artist of the week. Now, let's begin. What I like to do when I make a painting is work from what is in the background to the foreground. So what is the farthest away and then work forward. So behind Bruni's eyes, you actually have one of Bruni's Behind his face, you have one of Bruni's eyes. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of our blue. I'm gonna mix a little bit of our light blue in with it and some white. I'm going to actually mix the white in with these blues and just get a really light blue, light white blue going on. All right, and that is going to be the edge of Bruni's eye. I'm gonna actually just do a half a circle here. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with my blue and just touch in inside of that. Whew. And then I'm gonna touch in the black. Be daring. Bruni needs his eye though, so he needs to be able to see, to do his job as a fire spirit. He's so cute. He's one of my favorite characters. Maybe ever. He's just so, ugh, I wanna give him a hug, even though he'd burn my fingers. Okay, so now I need to do a little bit of the eye. So he is a salamander, so he has this little spot above his eye, his little, like, eyebrow, if you will. And now we're going to figure out the outline for the rest of his face. He's got a little bit that comes down here. And he's gonna have another eye right about here. We're gonna make this one nice and big. Okay, and then he's got his nose kind of covers up part of his eye, this eye anyway. So we're gonna go and kind of just show how that eye is in the background, you see? All right, I'm gonna do another like arc right there and color this in. Now I will be adding other colors. It's easier to actually paint the dark color first and then go for the light color, but I'm doing it very thin. It's important to do it very thin so that you don't, well, paint takes time to dry. You wanna make sure that it has time to dry. So there is part of his face and I'm gonna carry this down because he's got his, we're gonna paint him with his mouth open because I think that's personally the cutest part of Bruni is when he's catching the snowflakes. So we're gonna actually use our pencil to make a snowflake for him to catch. But it's time for me to do his mouth. So I'm gonna go in with this pink and I'm gonna touch in some of this black because we wanna have it really dark in the dark recesses of his mouth. And then we're gonna go brighter. So I'm just gonna go in, here's where the mouth hole is going to be. And I'm just thinking, where is the bottom? I'm gonna make that the darkest part. And then I'm gonna work my way out and I'm gonna add more pink, like so. I'm gonna add more pink and just carry it in for the roof of Bruni's mouth. And we're gonna kind of fill in this area and make it look, so he's got kind of a round mouth, but it's gonna have this smile line. So I'm gonna actually take, oh, there's my pencil. Flying pencils, flying pencils. So I'm gonna take my black and I'm actually gonna, sh with my pencil, I'm going to draw a line where this smile is going to go to, right there, just like so. The rest of it is going to be Bruni's eye and his face, but this is going to be his mouth. His mouth hole. 
it's important to have the mouth hole to catch to catch the snowflakes. Well, and to spray the fire. He does both things. Okay, so I'm gonna actually use this pencil to do a little bit more outline. You can use any sort of sharper, pointier thing. I like pencils for this. You can use brushes, but I like pencils because, well, it's just a little bit pointier. It's a little bit easier to control um, in some ways. Sometimes brushes kind of go every which way. Um, and I can always just sharpen the pencil and get rid of all of that paint that's stuck on it if it doesn't wash off. Okay, so we're getting Bruni's mouth. I'm gonna actually take this and Bruni's mouth needs to go like that. Has like a little, a little backward C right there. And I'm gonna go in with this black, mix some of this black and pink. Cause this is the edge of his mouth. Now I can paint the black and then go back and paint some pink over top of it. That might be the best, best choice. All right, so we're getting Bruni's mouth. He looks super cute and happy. I'm gonna wipe off my pencil really good. Really, really good. And I'm gonna go in with this light color that I used for the eye there. And I'm actually just going to draw a line like right in here. We're gonna just color that in a little bit, make it look like it's seeing a bit of the light. And then I'm gonna smooth it out with my finger. Okay, I'm gonna put the pencil down and I'm gonna go back to using my fingers. So what I'm going to do is just kind of draw a line where, and color over just the edge of this. I just want it to be smooth and like my finger. All right, so that's where his face is going to be a bit. I'm gonna go in with this lighter blue and I'm gonna, you see where that line is? I'm gonna actually go right above the line that I just created, do a little line there, and I'm going to just use my finger and take that color and draw it up. And I'm gonna take it across the top, like so, and draw it down. And that's just gonna color that area in a little bit and make it a little bit brighter. And I'm gonna take just little as faint touches, just very lightly, just color those, those areas in. I wanna keep, keep the dark so that you can see the different shapes of his face. I'm gonna clean my finger off and now I'm gonna work on the other eyeball because that's pretty important to have that eyeball. So going in with my white, I'm gonna go into this light blue that I created already and I'm going to do a big circle. I'm gonna to touch a little bit of the regular white. Just do a big circle for his eyeball because this eyeball is gonna be just a little bit closer to us. We're gonna be able to see it just a little bit more. And I can always color over the edge of that and I'm going to. So now I'm gonna take my dark blue all right, and I'm going to do kind of where he's looking. He's gonna be looking straight up. So I'm gonna do a circle. And that is going to be where his eye is looking. But we gotta put his iris in. And I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just going to touch Make sure that it's nice and round. It can be nice and big. And there we go, we have Bruni's other eye. I'm gonna go in with my dark blue and I'm just going to just go over top of these lines and recess it a little bit. Put it, push it back just a little bit more. All right, he's gonna have his eye is gonna come out right there. 
because you can't have a floating eyeball. Can't have it. All right, I'm gonna touch my light blue and I'm gonna kind of draw a line there. right alongside the mouth. Not covering up all of that dark blue, but just a little bit. You see what that does? You see how that makes the mouth really just pop? It makes him definitely look like Bruni. Okay, now he's got this little hinge for his jaw. If you don't know, you can touch the sides of your, your cheeks right underneath your ear. We all have these hinges that make our mouth open and close. So that is the jaw area. So we're just gonna do a little circle there area. And I'm gonna touch into this light blue, just color over it. I do a lot of coloring over things, putting darker colors in and then going back in with a lighter color. It really helps to make things pop out on the page. Okay, so Bruni actually has, I'm gonna take this light blue and then I'm gonna mix it with this white because I don't want it to be blue. I want it to be a little bit whiter because Bruni's lower jaw is this color. It's, it's kind of a white with a little bit of blue in. All right, so I'm gonna just kind of draw kind of an arc down and it's gonna go straight down from his mouth straight down from the mouth like so there is Bruni's jaw area I'm gonna leave a space for his tongue because Bruni has this really great tongue that sticks out to catch them snowflakes so cute so, so cute. I had to just rewatch before I made this. I made sure that I rewatched when Elsa first saw Bruni. Oh, he's so adorable. Okay, and then he's got this little, he's got a little like chest tummy area that sticks out a little bit. We're just gonna color that in. I'm not gonna do all of Bruni, I don't think but we're, we're definitely gonna do that part. Taking the blue, I'm actually just going to draw a little line down the side, because this is going to be where his back is. And it's gonna go right like that, like a curve, and then it's gonna go straight down. And we're gonna actually carry this straight back. So that's gonna be where his back is. And I'm gonna take my blue and I'm going to actually take it down just a little bit. So this is going to be, I'm already showing where his leg is going to be. He's got a shoulder, we make a round part for a shoulder. And we think about, every time we paint, we think about where the muscles are. Woo! We think about where the muscles are and the bones. It's very important to think about those things, the science. People don't realize how important science is when you're painting and biology. It's important to think about where all these different pieces are in the body. So there we go. I'm gonna actually take a little bit of my black and some blue, put some blue in that black and make a darker, darker blue. You see that dark blue? All right, I'm gonna throw a little shadow. I'm gonna go kind of make like a backwards seven, or no, let's just make a one. Make a one. Okay, and there we go. That's going to be where his shoulder is. And I can take some of our white blue and I'm just gonna kind of trace along the top of the back. I'm 
and I can take my dark blue and blend it out so it's not so bright. That's going to be where the light is hitting his back. So like Elsa's very shiny and he is very small. So his little body gets a lot of shine on it. So there we go. We've got a little bit of that. And I'm just going to put it right alongside the shadow. It's going to really stand out there. Wow, look at that. I'm going to go in with this white and I'm going to fill in his stomach a little bit. And take this blue and we're just going to show where his, his stomach just goes straight back. All right, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of this blue and put it down here, and that's gonna be his other leg. You see how we're doing this? We're making Bruni. Okay, now the only thing that I see that he really needs right now is his tongue. He's missing his tongue. He has no tongue. So we're gonna take our pink, and I'm just going to make kind of like an oval and fill in that spot, but his tongue's sticking out. So I'm going to make kind of like the top of an M, making a little arc, and I'm gonna make another one on top of it, and then I'm gonna round that out. Like so. Okay, so because the tongue needs to have a little bit more dimension. It can't just be a plain pink tongue. It's gotta look like a tongue. I'm taking a little bit of pink and black and I'm just going to go around the bottom of this tongue. That's gonna help it stand out a lot. I'm gonna carry that in to his mouth a little bit and now I'm gonna go with some white and pink and mix that up, or white, mix that up clean off my finger really well. And then taking this light pink, I'm just gonna kind of do a C on top, like so, and blend it out. And there you have it. There's, that's how you make his tongue stick out a little bit more. Now, for our last thing, we're gonna do a snowflake cause Bruni needs to be catching a snowflake. So I'm going to take our light blue and just draw a little line. Now, your snowflake does not have to look like my snowflake. You don't even need a snowflake. I just like the idea of a snowflake and I'm gonna draw like a big old plus sign. I like to think of snowflakes as like math signs. It helps me a little bit. So we have a big plus sign and then we're gonna make a big uh, multiply sign a big X, big old X. Okay, and now I'm gonna make, hmm, what do I wanna do? I'm gonna have little V's on some of these X's. Some of these posts, some of these things are gonna get little tiny V's on them. Throw another one on there. So every other one has a little tiny, little tiny V on it. Okay, and because this is my snowflake, I think I'm gonna throw little dots at the end. Little dots at the end of these other four, like so. Now it's your snowflake, so your snowflake does not have to look like mine at all. I'm gonna do a little, little dot in the middle, cause I feel like it. All right, now I'm gonna take my white and just do, let's do some dots, some little lines on top. Like so. 
All right, now I'm gonna go back in with my white and I'm just gonna dot on a little bit of a highlight onto his eye. So I'm just gonna go into this black, draw a little line, and I'm gonna draw a little line over here as well. I wanna highlight his tongue a little bit more. Little tiny bit on his tongue, right in the brightest part. Okay, ta-da, there you have it. There is my Bruni uh, from Frozen 2. What do you guys think? Are you gonna try to make your own Bruni? I really hope that you do. I'd love to see what you come up with. Remember, your Bruni is what you see in your mind and it will come out on paper. It does not have to look like my Bruni. There are no right and wrongs with art. There is just expression and how you see the world, how you see Bruni. So think it in your mind and watch your finger start to make it happen. So there we have it. I'm so happy to see this. I can't wait to see yours on Instagram. Until next time. <laughs>